town. Atlanta's his is, town. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. I didn't go in to watch. Yeah. Oh. I didn't go in to watch T.I. because as a headliner, no one's supposed to go up after you. Yeah. Right. But as there's a code in comedy that I follow. I'm not watching what you can't do better than me. Yeah. You're not a comedian to me. You, you're you working your way. I give him... You're, he's taking it seriously. I don't know how long he's going to do that. Yeah. But I'm not coming back after I finish my shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I tore that bitch down and I'm going to go back and go watch someone who's yeah. like... Not who's not a comic, who's not a comedian. Yeah, yeah, for me morally, that's just fucking stupid. Yeah, but 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 you just got through saying that it's it's more than that. You talked about the branding. You talk about yeah. all these other avenues that yeah. you could touch by having him come. So why wouldn't you go watch him just because? No. Oh, okay, there's something else I, I could touch. I don't want to watch. I understand. Okay. I wouldn't watch. I'm done. Yeah, I'm not gonna be in the room. I've just finished. Yeah, I'm just saying. I just finished, but I waited for. He hung out with us. Okay, and we Fair talked enough. comedy. No, no, no. no. Yeah. I want it. Okay, well, I, then, then you got what you needed. To I get fuck after that. with Ti. No, I, I haven't. I just been seeing, you know, just isolated moments of salt dropping. You dig? And I want to say this, and I'm going to be very careful with my wording because I don't want this to sound adversarial in any way. Because I ain't really got no problem or no issue with you. None of you people who dropping salt on my name because salt, salt kills snails, not players, all right? Um, but what I like, I, I, I want to be very careful because I, I, I'm really trying to, I'm trying to starve my ego as much as possible. That's what my next album is about. Kill the king. Killing the king is killing the ego. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, sharing my gifts with the world. You know what I'm saying? Utilizing the tools and the skills that I've developed or that I am developing. You feel like that's in your way some kind of way. And that's more your problem than I could ever be. The fact that you think that somebody else doing something that you're doing is going to stop you from doing what you need to do to get what you need to be, nigga, that's your problem right there. Like, okay, so uh, I have a lot of respect and admiration for a legend and a goat in the comedy shit. His name is Godfrey. I thought all was well. I thought it went very good. And then... I see, I see an interview with Godfrey, and how I see Godfrey, Godfrey is a legend, he's a goat. And what I saw in his interview was, I saw a legend trying not to hate while hating. You know what I mean? Um, like in your windows, little goddamn little tidbits of hate here and there while coupling it or surrounding it with some compliments to make it seem like you ain't hating for real. But, uh, mm, or, or, or they want to see what he got to say, whatever it is. Bro, that shit should help you and everybody else in this shit. You know what I mean? Because the one thing I see is it ain't enough money to go around right now. But get what? I don't want the money. It ain't enough for me to even bother myself with. I'm in it for the love of the shit. You understand? I'm doing it because I love to do it, bro. Doing it because I got a passion to do it. I ain't made a fucking dime. I ain't looking for it. Don't need it. Would like it, but that's later. Now, yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick on T.I. responding and going off to Godfrey after he saw this podcast episode that's on Godfrey YouTube channel. I'm going to have a link in the description where y'all can tap into that at. When T.I. get to walk in the circles and go outside and walking in that backyard on that phone, you know, he finna start dropping all the big words and talking all types of shit. And I ain't gonna lie, that's what I was laughing at. But T.I. was saying some real shit, though. I understood what he was saying. This comes when an uh, a actual comedy show that Godfrey was the headliner for, a lot of people popped out for. He did his thing, killed the stage. T.I. was there. T.I. been trying his hand at comedy a little bit. And... Godfrey or any other comedian might feel a way about that. As it's one of those things where I respect the, the craft or whatever I'm doing. But we live in a world now where everybody kind of crossbreeds talent. See, I did say, yeah, I'm not a comedian. I'm a superstar. But there's always going to be those certain people who are going to be like, hey, bro, I've been trying to do comedy for so long and I really take this shit serious for you to kind of jump in and just be at the highest stage. Niggas gonna get offended by it. 
That's how some people are gonna look at it. And then some people look at it like, hey, if I'm the headliner or if this is my event, no niggas should be going on the stage after me. I think that's what kind of sends it to a form of where T.I. might feel like, hey, Godfrey, you hating on me, you hating on my shine. But I, me being the creator, just understanding, I don't think he's hating on T.I. getting money. I don't think he's hating on T.I. getting comedy. It's just one of those things where it's, they gonna be in their ego. I remember when Pimp C was on some shit, don't book him for a show in Texas and unless he's the headliner of it. He's not open enough for nobody. Some people just go be in their ego like that. There's certain boxers now who've been boxing their whole life, but a TikToker or YouTube or Instagram influencer might have more draw to a crowd or a fight on a car for them to be on one of these apps to get paid money. And they feel like, well, man, this dude not a real boxer. And they might feel that way because, like, nigga, I really box. You just doing it off your popularity and name. So it's different ways to look at it. And when you speak on it, you got to speak carefully. But, hey, man, I'm pretty sure T.I. Godfrey going to be cool and everything like that. I don't think Godfrey really meant harm. But it's going to come off that way when you say, hey, I don't want to watch it. I don't want to see it. I mean, I'm here for me. He did say to him and T.I. kicked it after. He said that he understood this is a business move and it makes sense to have T.I. there on stage after him and things like that. But when you say you don't want to watch it, man, it's going to come off that way. It just is what it is. Tell me what y'all think about this shit. My boy T.I. got into his big talk, you know. <laughs> he killing the king because he got a killer ego. <laughs> Hey man, make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Shout out to T.I. Shout out to Godfrey. We got both shit coming, man. 1,000. Stay on your pivot for shit show.